Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting up a new decluttering series and I looked at my makeup collection a little while ago and realised that I had so much stuff that I am not going to use and that I don't use and I decided that now it was a chance for me to declutter as many things as I could out of my collection as being as it is a new year and it just all needs to go. So today I'm starting off with my foundations, concealers and primers and this is what I always do because this is usually the first rule that I go into every single day when I see what I want to do with my makeup. So if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe button down below and also make sure to hit the bell icon just so you're notified every time I load a new video. So like I mentioned, I looked at my makeup collection a little while ago and noticed that I just had so much stuff, things that I hadn't seen for a while and I just know I'm not going to get the use out of them and because it is a brand new year, I thought now would be a really good time for me to start decluttering my makeup collection and show you what I'm going to be getting rid of, what I'm going to be keeping and basically give you mini reviews on everything. So I have previously done quite a lot of declutter videos so if you do want to see that playlist I will link it down below for you so you can check it out so as with all of my declutter videos if anything's brand new I will be selling it or I'll be giving it away if anything is a little bit used I'll be giving it away to friends and family and if anything has either been used up or if it's expired then I will be getting rid of it because who wants expired makeup no one does because you can't put it on your face or use it anywhere so if you want to see everything I'm decluttering from my foundations concealers and primers then just keep watching as you can see, there is so much stuff in here. I have a makeup organiser underneath here, but I just, you can't see it. I've basically just taken things from different drawers and put them all in here just so I can really work through it and see what I need to get rid of, what I want to keep, because this year I've decided that I'm going to be on a very, very low buy buying products. I've hardly bought anything at all, and it's already the beginning of February when I film this, so I feel like I've done pretty good. I mean, some of these backups... I bought them last year so you know there are just products that I love products that I haven't used and I just know that I'm not really gonna use them so what I'm gonna do is take all of these things out of this drawer and then I'm going to put them on the floor and we're gonna sort them into categories and then we're gonna do clutter So this is everything pulled out right here and as you can see I have a lot of stuff going on. I don't even want to hazard a guess to how much stuff I have here but it's literally piled up as you can see. There's stuff underneath it, stuff I know that I need to get rid of. Yeah, it, it's just horrible. So what I've done is I've put it all on a duvet set that we usually have on at winter. So I tried to get something that was as neutral as possible and something that I don't really mind getting dirty you know if it does now some of these things are dirty so i do want to apologize first of all they do get cleaned every now and again but because i tend to just chuck things in that drawer then they do tend to sometimes get a little bit dirty like you can see here it's not looking the best but that's just because i have those in my everyday makeup drawer and you know if a blush decides that it wants to explode everywhere so I mean, might end up getting dazed. This is what I have, I have a lot of backups, I have a lot of items that haven't been opened, things that I did want to try out that I haven't got around to testing yet and yeah it, it's a lot and it's probably going to take me a while to go through but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it and I'm also going to give you little reviews as well just to let you know what I think about it, if I like it, if I don't. Some of them you might have actually seen in videos previously so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna do is put it into categories and then we can start decluttering from there. I have 25 primers and that is coming from somebody who has very oily skin and not a lot of products actually work for me so uh, yeah I, I have I have a lot and I don't actually need all of these so yeah just look at them it's uh, quite crazy because um, I actually forgot that I even own any of these. So what I'm gonna do with the ones that I'm gonna get rid of, I'm gonna pop it in this container right here. So the first ones I have are the Wet n Wild Primer Waters. I absolutely love these. I actually forgot about these until I did, I think it was an empties video, and I forgot that I had these and I actually have three. So I'm gonna be keeping all three of these because I love them and I'm gonna start getting around to using them a bit more. Then I have my sun cream. So these two I use all the time. These are holy grails of mine. This one is really, really old. This one is good, but if you do have oily acne prone skin, then these two are the best ones for you. This one is super affordable. This one is very affordable when they have offers on. I think I got like three for two on these ones. So really good. This one's La Roche Pose. It's the Aphelios 50 plus and it's the anti-shine one. So if you do have oily skin, 
these two are the best ones for you to get the both anti-shine and I'm gonna get rid of this Elizabeth Arden one it was good but you know the other two are much better at controlling my oils then I have the MAC Prep and Prime this is so old I think this is probably about ooh, maybe eight years old so this one is going finally I have the Rainforest of the Sea 401 Set of Mist so this technically isn't a primer but I think you can use it as a primer i haven't managed to try this out yet so i'm gonna keep it um decay eyeshadow primer potion never used it i've had this for like five years going smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer i feel like i should keep one because i don't have any eyeshadow primer i just don't use eyeshadow primer but i feel like i should have one so i'll keep this one out of all of them and see if i actually like it smashbox photo finish primer i am getting rid of this had that for years professional this is old this is a matte rescue didn't really care about it it wasn't actually that good this one is an old professional i can tell from how old the packaging is and yeah look at the difference between the two this one just it, it looks really old just look at the difference between them so this one getting rid of this one i'll keep for the moment but i don't really use this so that one's going photo finish primer water i am going to keep this one because i do i don't even know if i've used it but it's a travel one the guerlain law radiance primer this stuff i am keeping because this was so expensive i did a video on this and it's the most expensive primer that i've ever bought so this you can that is going to be staying with me because it's that that expensive Laura Mercier foundation primer this one's a blemishless they don't even do this anymore so there's no point in me trying it out because if I do like it I can't buy another one ordinary high adherence silicon primer this is so old I think it's like two years old it was okay the collection primed and ready primer this I really did like but I feel like it is really old 12 months I've had this open for longer than 12 months Tarte Paulus I tried this it's good but it's not my favorite but i'll try it a bit more because i think i've only tried like once or twice and my elf primers i have three of them i have the paulus putty primer matte putty primer and the blemish fighting primer i actually use the matte and blemish ones every single day i love these it's so good the paulus putty primer have i used this a lot i think i haven't used it that often yet i i i've literally used it once yeah i've, I've used this once in my life so I mean it was good but I don't really know if I can give it to anyone because you know you, you put your fingers in there so I'm gonna be keeping all three of these just for the moment because I don't know if I can give away the normal one but you can see these two I love I use these every single day so I have the blemish one which has a lot of it that's come out of it the matte one which again has a lot because these are my everyday primers you can see i use these ones a lot i love them i can't see very about them if you do have blemishes or acne the blemish fighting one is amazing i definitely recommend you pick it up and the matte one perfect if you have oily skin i have a strobe cream from mac have i even opened this i haven't opened it but i keep saying i'm going to use this and you know what it's not taking up much room in my makeup collection so i might try it out and use it I have the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer. I suppose this might be good if my skin does get dehydrated because I do use a lot of blemish fighting products. So I might end up wanting a hydrating primer every now and again. So yeah, I'll keep this for when my skin is getting very dehydrated, which usually happens a lot in the winter. So this is what I am getting rid of. So I feel like I did pretty okay. So I'm getting rid of one, two three four five six seven eight nine and get rid of nine primers so i feel like i did pretty good on that i probably could have got rid of more you know what i'm actually going to get rid of the professional because i just don't use it so that can go to a new home so that means that that's 10 that i've managed to get rid of so 10 i've got rid of 15 i'm keeping but technically two of them are actually sun creams and i use them every single day so it's not too bad so almost half my collection has gone straight away right there some of them need to get chucked in the bin and the other ones are going to be going to better home with concealers i know that i'm going to do super crap with this i actually genuinely like almost all these concealers that i have and there are some that you know i want to try out so i do have these two the hydra sealer and the ordinary ones that i really want to try out so these i'm going to be keeping flower beauty one back up and i genuinely use all of these keeping these two i love the hydrating and the camo concealer these are backups 
yeah i'm gonna get rid of the tart shape tape because i absolutely hate these like with a passion if you guys watch my videos you'll know that i really don't like them so they are going and everything else i mean i like the maybelline instant age rewind and this one is almost used up so this is going to be decluttered very very soon but yeah i i actually like all of them and then i've got these three from chanel so i have a b10 for the concealer then i have two of the color correcting ones so i have a green one and then also a pink one i haven't tried these out so i'm going to keep those and yeah i'm actually going to keep the rest out of all that i got rid of two but these are just the concealers that i can't stand that i really hate so you never know i might not end up liking the ordinary one and the hydra sealer so i might end up getting rid of those soon i've just counted all my foundations and i think i have 58 i don't know i'll probably have more i'll probably have less but i think that's what i just counted and this is a lot of stuff right here so i have a lot of backups as you can see i have a lot of foundations some of them have been opened some of them i have not opened yet and yeah there is a lot of stuff in here. I know stuff straight away that I'm going to get rid of just because I know it's either expired or I know that I'm not going to get the use out of it. So the Amazonian Clay Foundation from Tarte, this has been discontinued. This is my Holy Grail from Tarte. I absolutely love it. I don't know why they're discontinuing it, but they have replaced it with the new Amazonian Clay Foundation, which I just think is ridiculous because that doesn't work on my skin and it's very, very full of fragrance. So I have done a massive order a little while ago and I bought loads because I really like it. So I have the shades Light Medium Sand, Light Medium Sand and Medium Sand as well. I did do a first impression on this foundation on my channel a little while ago. I will link it down below or something in this video so you can check it out. But I really like these. I'm going to be keeping all three of these. I do have this one, which is Light Medium. I think this might be Light Medium Neutral because I think I got it from QVC. This hasn't actually been opened, so I'm going to keep this. But I'm so angry that they're discontinuing this because I did have a chat with them and say, you know, this is a holy grail of mine from Tarte. And yeah, they have discontinued it for the new and improved formula. I have the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. This is the oil free one. As you guys know, I absolutely love this. Again, did a first impression on it. This is one of my holy grails. I do have three shades. I have 2W2, I have 2W1 and 1W1. So the 1W1 is actually too warm for me when I am pale, but at the time this was the only pale shade that they had. And then 2W1 and 2W2 matched with one of self tanned. But this is an old formula. Actually, I think the formula is pretty much the same, but this is the old packaging, the old shades. So I think they have taken some of them away, but I found out the other day when I was looking at this that these have expiry dates there is an expiry date right on the top there which is really annoying because I didn't know that and I've been using this all over summer and this one expired May last year let's go in this one expired July last year then this one this one is still good until October this year I found out the other day that I actually bought one of these from ASOS and when I bought it it was out of date and it expired but I didn't realise until just now and actually ordered it I think it was October so I can't actually do anything about it now so yeah that was money down the drain so I have 2W1 as a backup okay this one's got till September this year 4W1 this one I just got because they were discontinuing it and I thought they were discontinuing everything yeah this was the one yeah June June 2021 and I ordered this in October I have a 1W1 porcelain Oh, okay, this is good until December this year. So, I, to be honest, I probably won't even use this one because I am hardly ever pale, so that's just the annoying thing. And then 2W1 Bisc. This one expired July last year. I said not in a way. You guys know this is a holy grail of mine. I've been using this for years and years and years. This is bulletproof. This will stay on for everything. If I go to a wedding, I will use this. I have used this at theme parks i have had water splash on my face from water rides and this has not budged this is literally like the best foundation you will ever buy it's it's just that good i i love it and yeah as you can see i have four shades so these again these are really gross i have cleaned these as much as i can but it's at the point where it's literally just stained it because these exploded in my drawer last year so it's just literally stained these so i just need to get some new ones but there isn't actually any bacteria in there because I actually cleaned out these, but it, it's 
literally stuck like that so i do have four shades and these are all different stages of self tan so i have 2n1 when i don't want to be too orange 1w2 when i have a very light self tan i don't actually use this that much because i tend to have quite a deep self tan a lot of the time now and just tend to stick to the same shade i've got 1n1 which is my natural shade that is showing how pale i am and then 2w2 is my shade that i always am so i have my natural shade and my self tan shade there is a massive difference between the two as you can see but yeah i'm keeping all four of them because i love them i know that is it this one 2w2 this one is almost run out because i was using it yesterday and it one seemed to be pretty good so these are all going to be saying i will never ever get rid of a double wear unless it's expired but something i found out yesterday was that these expire after 24 months they also have some backups as well i got these in america as you can see because it has the outlet price in there then i also got i think it was 50 percent off so i did really well on that two n one two w one two w two and one n one so every single shade i have a backup of. so like i said i will never get rid of best day order double wear because it is a holy grail now with the cosmetic cc cream oil free this is my go-to i have two backups of medium which i'm keeping then I have a fair, which is actually too warm for me and too dark when I don't have a self tan, but they do have some light shades, which is good. So I'm going to keep this because I do end up mixing this with medium when my self tan starts to come off. Medium, this one is dead. I actually used this up, I think it was two days ago. Nothing left in there, but you know, if you do want to have CZ cream and you have oily skin and you want loads of skincare benefits, this is the best one. So that one is going, this one is staying, the usual one, medium, I'm going to get rid of this one because I just don't use it. Then I have the Dior Air Fash foundation, this one I purchased, I think it was about two months ago, then found out it's completely discontinued so you can't actually buy this anywhere. But I really wanted to try it so I bought it. And the top Found Sealer, now this is a foundation I am very, it's not my favourite. It's not my favourite foundation. And I did try it out. I actually tried this out for about two months. I tried it out before Christmas. And, you know, I really gave it a good go. As you can see, there's a lot of the foundation that's gone. So I really did give it a really good go because it has loads of skincare benefits in there. I have very, very oily skin. This will not stay on your skin if you are oily and you want to wear it all day. You can't wear this all day because it is just going to... Yeah, it's going to come off after about four or five hours. I will wear this if I am going to the shop just after work or if I'm just going out. But this doesn't really build up that well. Now, it's okay. I'm going to keep this one. This one's in the shade Light Medium Sand. These run very, very dark, just to let you know. So I have Light Medium Sand, so I'm going to keep that one. But then this one is Medium Sand. This one is way too dark for me. I, I will not be able to match this one but there is quite a big difference between the two maracuja tinted hydrator haven't tried this out yet it's a mini one so i'm going to try that the rainforest of the sea hydroflex this one is actually replacing this rainforest of the sea foundation haven't tried it out yet so we'll keep it this one i haven't really managed to try much i think i tried it once and it's good but i just got the wrong shade it was like medium honey so this one is going and then this one is the light medium golden so this one is probably going to match me a lot better so i will try this out i have the max judo fix fluid nw22 i got matched in selfridges and the woman matched me to the wrong shade this is definitely not my shade this is too cool and orange if you can see that right? that's definitely definitely not my shade yeah and I even told her I have warm undertones. I was like, I actually match my fake tan and my neck. I don't match my face. So naturally I have a neutral undertone. So she put a neutral cool undertone on my face and said that it matched and it didn't. And I only realised when I got out of the shop and they were already closed. So I couldn't take it back. So yeah, this is going to someone else because oh, yeah, I'm not going to use it. The Light Illusion Foundation from Flower Beauty. I did test this out again on my channel with the concealer. I actually, I quite like this, but this really reminds me of the concealer. I think they probably last the same amount of time. However, the Light Illusion one, it actually builds up. This one, it goes a bit patchy if you build it up, but this one is just really oily on my skin when I first put it on. So that's the only thing that I do have to say. So I'm going to be getting rid of this one which is the one that's already open because I've only used it a couple of times so that one is going then I do have a darker shade and another one of that shade so for the moment I'm going to keep these but if I don't use them by the next declutter then they're going to go but 
I want to try it out a little bit more. I have a Le Beige Water Fresh Tint from Chanel. I have these two as well. So this one is medium. This one is light medium. And these are honestly one of the most beautiful skin tints that you can ever try. I just, I absolutely love it. As you can see, I use a lot of medium. There's, there's hardly any left. This is my go-to shade. And I like this because it's one of those where you get a really slight tint to the skin. So it's not going to cover up your acne. It's not going to cover up any imperfections. But it does even out your skin tone a little bit. And it has like a little hint of colour. So I have light medium and medium. So I'm going to keep both of these. Light medium, as you can see, I don't really use it a lot. It's more of a sort of neutral undertone. Whereas the medium is a warm undertone. So I'm going to keep both of these because I absolutely love them. And then I have a backup of the medium. You also get a brush in this as well. It's expensive, but you get the brush with it as well. The face tape from Tarte. I try this out a little bit. I try this out a few times. And I like it because it blurs all my imperfections. And it looks very beautiful on the skin. It has skincare benefits in there. However, I don't know if this product is breaking me out. When I was using it consecutively, my skin was starting to break out. But I don't know if it's because... I was using different skincare but I don't know I think they're both in the shade light medium sand I think I'm going to keep this for the moment but then if I use it and then it's breaking me out I know that it's going to be this so yeah that might end up being decluttered very soon but it's a good foundation and this is the Chanel Ultra Latin Velvet Foundation I love this this is a holy grail of mine I'm wearing it today I wear it all the time this is very blurring I think this is similar to the base tape from Tarte however I much prefer this and I also like the fact that it's very travel friendly like look at how tiny that packaging is this packaging is so tiny I took this when I went on holiday throughout the whole of summer I went to London I went to Cumbria I went to Wales and this was in my makeup bag it hard takes up any room because it's just so tiny it's also plastic and then you have the little thing there I think I've just got foundation everywhere but i like it i feel like it is so beautiful i would constantly repurchase this this is in the shade bd31 it's the shade that i'm in all chanel foundations and i love it this is the best foundation from chanel that i've tried so i love it the number one chanel foundation this is a new one i did do a first impression it. it's okay it's not my favorite but i'm going to keep it because it's bloody expensive the galan l'essential 24 hour wear foundation <sighs> I have a love-hate relationship with this because it looks very pretty on the skin however I feel like it's very very heavy it feels heavy it looks heavy it doesn't last 24 hours on my skin because I am so oily I've tried this out a little bit I feel like the shade's a little bit too dark and this is 03W and it's not really a dark shade I think I'm going to keep this try it out a little bit more but it's not the best one that I've tried and it is pretty expensive I think it's like £44 it's one of the most expensive foundations that I've ever bought so I mean it's good but I, I wouldn't spend the money on it I think I'm just basically keeping it because it's so expensive I have the CoverGo Outlast Day Fabulous foundation I bought this years ago I think it was I bought an original one about two years ago from Amazon I was going to do a first impression it, didn't use it. So I bought another one last year. was going to do a first impression it, didn't do it. So this one, it, it just needs to go. I have not even tried this out. So it's going to a new home. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is really, really old. I kept this in my last declutter. And I didn't realise that I'd actually had it open. I've used this once since that declutter. So this is going to be going because it's just so old. The L'Oreal Skin Paradise Tinted Water Cream. I love this stuff. This is a great drugstore alternative to the chanel cc cream to me because even though this one is a little bit lighter on the skin they do give you a very similar look and this one also has acne fighting benefits in there as well it's got witch hazel ginger aloe vera to soothe the skin i love this it's just the shade range is not the best but i did again do a first impression on this which i'll link for you chanel cc cream love this stuff again did a first impression on it it is one of my favourites. This is very mattifying. It's more mattifying than the It Cosmetics CC Cream. The only thing is the shades, they do not have many. This is in a shade B30. This was the closest match I could find. It is a little bit too neutral for me, but I can make it work. So they do need to bring out more shades. But it, it's a really nice CC cream. I am definitely keeping this. And then I don't really have many left. So I'm just going to move all of them 
and we're gonna scooch in a little bit closer. So these are the last ones that I have. So I don't have too many left and I feel like I did pretty okay. I mean, I could have got rid of more, but I think some of them I am gonna be trying out. So in my next declutter, I can probably get rid of more foundations. So the L'Oreal True Match, this is a favorite of mine. I really do like it. However, 3W has been open for a very long time now. It's definitely past its expiry date. And then I have one end, which is my natural shade and then four, W, which is a very deep self tan shade. I didn't realise this before, but this actually has flecks of gold glitter in there. I don't know if it's just because it's been sitting up for a while. So I'm going to keep these two because that's my natural shade. And then this one is going to have a very deep self tan. So I might not ever be that shade, but I feel like I need to keep this one so I can sort of mix the two and then I don't have loads of different shades. So those two are staying because that is one of my favourite foundations. I haven't used it in a while because I do have quite a few. The good thing about the True Match is that I feel like it is a dupe for the Le Beige Healthy Glow Foundation from Chanel. This stuff is nice. I did do a first impression on it. I did also compare this to the number one Chanel in a recent video and they pretty much looked exactly the same. But I do prefer this one because I feel like this one looks a little bit more natural on my skin. But this one is expensive but if you do want to try it. I'd say get the true match because they're very very similar this one's bd31 and i wouldn't repurchase this but i am going to use it up because i don't have much of this left so just it needs to be used so i have some more chanel foundations i have two as you can see i love chanel i have been doing a lot of tesno last year i have the vita lumia aqua then i also have Ultra Latin. So the Ultra Latin is the new one that they've just released. This one BD31. I haven't tried this out, but this is supposed to be, I think it's like 24 hour wear. So we'll definitely see if it is 24 hour wear. So far, the only one that has been 24 hour wear is the SL Order one. Everything else that says 24 hour wear just it doesn't doesn't come anywhere near. And then the Vita Lumia Aqua, this one is beige 30 because this one was the closest shade that they had for me. Haven't tried this out yet, but it is a very similar bottle to the Ultra La Plant Velvet. So you can see that they're pretty much exactly the same. The only difference is the Velvet one has more of a matte finish and then this one has a shiny finish. So they're pretty much exactly the same bottles, which I think is really good because they're really good for travel. I did buy this a while ago because I was really into light coverage foundations. I am going to keep this for when my skin clears up a little bit more and I do go back to light coverage foundations. And then I have five left. So I have the Lumi Cushion. I've had this for years, bought this in Marika, said I was going to use it, haven't opened it. Yeah, that's going. The Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation, this one was a holy grail of mine, it's now been discontinued which is really sad, but this is so old. This, this was open in December 2019, if you can see, December 2019. This is very, very old. So. That definitely needs to go, but yeah. And then these last three, I'm gonna keep these three because this one's a new of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. This one is a new Primark Matte Foundation and this one is a new Collection Last Imperfection. I love all three of these, so these ones are staying with me. So after all that, I got rid of 14 foundations. Now it wasn't a lot, but some of it has expired and some of the ones that I'm keeping, I haven't tried out yet. So I might end up actually getting rid of more by the time that I do my next declutter. So 14 isn't too bad. I mean, I still have a lot of foundations, but some of them are at the point where they have nearly finished or they're nearly expired. So I just really need to use them up. Like I said, in the next declutter, you'll probably see more. And it's just one of those where with the SL order, I have four shades and then I have four backups. So I am keeping a lot of backups for products that I do like. And this is everything I'm getting rid of. So you can see they're all spread out on here and it's 27 items that are going. So my makeup collection is gonna be looking so much better. But like I said, even though I only got rid of these, there are some products that have almost finished up. So those are gonna be decluttered in my next decluttering video. So I feel like I have done pretty good in this one. I do wish that I could have got rid of some more stuff. However, I have a lot of backups and there are some products that I just haven't tried out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything else back in my makeup collection I'll keep in and you'll see exactly what it looks like. Hopefully it doesn't look too busy and hopefully I actually do have a little bit of space, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pop it back in the drawers.
and this is a draw all finish so it does look still a little bit messy but I feel like it's looking so much better than it was before this is actually the first time that I've actually managed to fit all of my foundations concealers and primers and all of my backup in the same drawer I used to just have my foundations and concealers in a smaller drawer at the top and then the rest of my stuff in this drawer up here so I have all my backups right at the back down here then a couple on the side then I also have some new products to test out as well so I've got some more to try out so two Chanel products my Tarte ones to try out, I've got my concealers to try out as well. My double wear down here because it fits really nice and snug. Concealers here, all my Chanel foundations here. Then all of my tubes, my sun creams and a couple of random stragglers at the back there. They don't look the best but it's the only place that I could actually fit them in because I really like this little compartment piece that I have here. This was actually from Primark so it was super affordable but there wasn't really anywhere for me to put those. And then at the back here, I've got all of my primers. So all my primers and little setting sprays are down here. So I feel like I've done really well. It looks so much better. I can actually see everything now. Also, I did sanitize this drawer before, but you didn't see it on camera. But I'm gonna be sanitizing it again. Also, you would have seen that there is a massive bit in the bottom underneath this on the drawer. That's actually because this used to be my fake tan drawer. And fake tan spilled with it and I cannot get it off because if you guys do tan, you know that fake tan is like the worst thing ever to try and get off. So anyway, this is what it looks like. It looks so much better. I'm so proud with what I managed to get rid of and the fact that I can actually fit everything in here because just think I had like 27 products I've got rid of. So where would those 27 products go in here? I have absolutely no idea.